Well, hello, everybody. Janet Legere here, and along with my partner, Dawn, we are your hosts each week for the CLB Learning Training Calls. And we're going to start each week with our little bit of a presentation, and then we'll get into the training portion of our call. So I'm really excited to see all you guys live here today. If you're watching the replay, I do hope you'll leave a comment and let us know what you thought of our training call today. Excited to get going. Excited to be back. Dawn and I were away last week. It was uh, pretty phenomenal. And I got to tell you that. Uh, it's good to be home. That's all I can say. <laughs> we were grandparenting for five full days, full time. And it was, yeah, glad to be home. So today you are about to discover a new way to grow your business online with one simple focus. Anybody want to share with me? And Dawn and Rob, you can't, you can't share. Okay, that would be cheating. <laughs> What's that one focus we need to be focused on online? Anybody want to uh, spout it out there. This is where I just get to see if you're paying attention or not. Carolise, I was going to say Carolise is usually the first one out the gate, so I'm glad to see she hasn't let me down. That's right, list building. That is the most important thing for you to be focused on online. There's there's an awful lot to building your business. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot you're going to be learning, mindset and business skills and all kinds of things that you're going to be learning. But what I'm really excited is that at CLB, we're going to show you how to break that down in the beginning, especially in the beginning, so that you can start having results in your business right away before learning everything that you need to learn. Doesn't that sound awesome? Sounds awesome to me. All right, so on our call today, we're going to have a little bit about who Don and I are, where we came from, how we got here, why you'd even want to listen to us. Uh, we've been around a while. We're going to talk about what CLB learning is, what, it exact, what exactly it is, and how it works. We're going to do some team recognition. Really excited about the growth in CLB right now. I'm, I'm just, I can't say how... Um, how much it means to me to see everybody coming back and, and getting re-engaged and having everything work just as it's supposed to. Oh, isn't that cool? Right? Follow the, the rules and everything works as it's supposed to. Uh, and then we're going to get into our training part of our call today. We're going to be talking about the CLB blogging platform. I have just got to just got to apologize to you guys right up front that the the new blog is fairly new to me. I've just started playing with it. I'm really excited because it's fairly simple, but there's quite a bit of complex parts to the blog that we won't be talking about today. In fact, we're going to have Don uh, come and do a training call on the more complex parts and more advanced parts of the blog. Today, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to show you how to get set up with your blog and the things that you need to do and how to use your blog. So we're pretty excited about that. Who else is excited about that? Anybody? Because I am. All right. Everybody wonders, well, why do we need a blog? Oh, we'll talk about that when we get there. So who the heck are Janet and Don Legere? Well, we've been around a while. Don and I are a very fun-loving couple. We actually met online back in 1998. And then in 1999, we found ourselves both with the opportunity to be away from the corporate world. We both worked for Corporate Canada. And I got to tell you guys, it's... Um, I always tell people I'm really not employable. I don't do well working for other people. <laughs> okay, so the internet seemed a logical place to come for us to build our business. It was just booming at the time. That's all that everybody was talking about was all the buzzwords. You can go make a fortune on the internet. And we've made several fortunes on the internet over the last 20 years. 20, this is our 21st year here online. Isn't that, I mean, how many of you think that that's pretty incredible? The fact that we've been here online for going on 21 years and we're still here. We're still doing what we did 20 years ago. We're still teaching what we did 20 years ago. Now, the tools that we use have changed and they will continue to change. That is never going to change. Okay, so that's something you need to really understand right in the beginning is that the internet tools that you're going to use may change as you progress, but the process is always going to be the same. You're going to be directing people to a capture page to capture their name and their email address and giving them some information or giving them something to encourage them to fill out that form. And so you're developing leads and those leads you're going to be following up with and connecting with and bringing wherever you are. And that's the beauty of what we do here. My passion and our passion lies in helping others learn to master these simple skills and really make it work. I have to tell you, in my 20 plus years that I've been here, um, there's a lot of people I've worked with 
over those years who are still not really making this work. And the reason is they're not focused on what really matters, okay? They, they get distracted and then they're off on the next best thing that promises them instant riches or promises them something that they really buy into and then nothing happens. So I'm here at CLB to change that for you. CLB back, began back in 2003 when the very first business that we were a part of, which was, believe it or not, selling technology exactly like what we're in right now. 20, like 20 years ago, this is what we were doing. And in 2003, that company went <clears throat> overnight. So overnight, we went from making a really good income. We were pretty excited. We were just moving forward and it just went boom, gone. And so, yeah, yours truly being the accountant in my past life, went and got a job. And within the first 30 days, I remember coming home and saying to Don, we need an exit strategy. This isn't working for me. And that was when I realized that I had everything I needed in front of me at home to create a very successful business. And that was when I began to use my own skills for teaching and training and put together a simple ebook called the Contact List Builder. That ebook became a rebrandable ebook so you could purchase the ebook and I would put all of your links in the ebook. So when you gave that ebook away to build your list, the people who downloaded and read the ebook and followed the strategies joined the programs with you. Sound familiar? Does that sound familiar to anyone? Just curious because that was 17 years ago. Okay, 17 years ago. Today, CLB is a community of like-minded members helping each other to really stay focused and really develop those skills that you need to make this work, whatever your business is, all right? So what exactly is CLB Learning? I like to say it's a training and mentoring program with very simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to build your list because that's what it is. It is a very simple program. We're here to help guide you. We're here to help keep you on track, keep you focused so you avoid all that shiny objects. And we even teach you what to do with those shiny objects. We help you master the skills that you really do need to know in order to grow your business online through our unique CLB funnel system, which allows you to earn while you learn. We really do take the pain away from this process. Uh, we take the hype away from the process. There's no BS here at CLB Learning. Everything is as it is. We're not here to uh, upsell you on high-end products. We're simply here to give you the skills you need to make this work. And let me tell you something, okay? And I know Rob will agree with me because Rob and I have been here about the same amount of time. And we've been working together for over 10 years. And, you know, it's... What held true then holds true now. Focus on building your list. Everything else comes. Whatever business you're building, you can build. It's, it's about building your list, building relationships, building that trust. And, you know, I know for a lot of you who are new to, the, new to this or still a little bit shy to all of this, and I, I get that, okay, um, what we teach you here helps you get over that because we give you very simple strategies. We give you simple ways to move forward with all this. And you really can start to earn while you learn if you stay focused on what we're teaching you. And make this happen. Because once you can make this happen, you can add to it. Do you guys see that? You can add to it. You can add to this. You can expand it. You can use what we teach you here to grow just about anything. The challenge is getting distracted to other programs that are promising things to just happen. And, you know, Rob's gonna agree with me, nothing just happens, you have to put in the work. What I love about what we teach at CLB is that it's a very simple process that you can duplicate anywhere. And just about every marketing system out there follows the same process. You have a funnel, you advertise your funnel, and you get leads and you follow up. Well, that's what we teach you here at CLB. Our quick start guide is just that, a very quick guide that walks you through everything you need to do to get set up and growing your list with CLB. The first step is to set up your funnel. That's a one-time job. And once you do that, then you see the power of the system we use with the conversion pros. Then you advertise your capture page while well, we teach you how to do that. We give you all the tools you need and the strategies to get traffic to your capture page in a very simple way. And in fact, if you have absolutely no idea about solo ads or traffic or how to send a viral mailer, guess what? 
we have a program with our partner here, Rob Gearing, where he offers a traffic co-op. You don't have to understand or know anything. Just sign up, purchase your co-op shares, upgrade in traffic, leased income, viral mailer, and boom. Every month, you're going to have consistent traffic coming to your website without understanding or knowing how to do it. Who thinks that sounds really cool? Because we all know that traffic is, is really what makes all of this happen. It's one thing to have a funnel, to have a really great capture page, but unless you've got good traffic coming into your pages, nothing is going to happen. Follow up and follow through is something we work on with you forever. Okay, follow up and follow through is something that's going to change as you grow, as you learn to master some simple skills, you're going to have more confidence, you're going to feel better about talking to other people, and it's going to become simpler and simpler, and you'll understand that follow up really isn't the challenge that you're all making it out to be. Okay, Rob, you agree with me, right? Most of the people, even in the room here today, make follow up more challenging than it needs to be. They make it harder than it needs to be. They make it more than it needs to be. People who are coming in through our system aren't looking for all the answers. They're just looking to know that there's someone there to answer their questions if they have any. And that's all you need to let them know. I'm here if you have any questions. Get them in the Telegram group. We'll answer all their questions. You don't have to worry about it. Just get them in the group. That's the simple, simplest thing with CLB is that you have a team of people to help your group duplicate what we're teaching you. Do you see the magic here? How many of you see the magic here? We teach your leads to duplicate what you're doing with CLB, which means as they come through the system, yes, you got it. As they come through the system, they're going to duplicate what you're doing. So number one, you've got your capture page set up. You're sending traffic to your capture page, hopefully through the Traffic Least Income VM Co-op. It's the fastest, best way to get your, your traffic happening. Your subscribers are sent to a thank you page that you create. That's part of the funnel. And on that thank you page, you've either got your own personal video or you have a CLB video that explains what CLB is and invites them to get a free account. Well, Really, who's not going to grab a free account? I see anywhere from 30 to 50% of my leads will grab a free account. How about you guys? I think 25% is the minimum I've seen from solo ads and what have you. But it's very consistent. 25 to 50% of the leads that come through our capture page sign up for a free account. Anyone else? Can I get some feedback back there? Once your member becomes a free member, well, now we take over. We encourage them to download the quick start guide, to go through the training. When they look at it, they see how simple it is. The guide really is a very simple guide to follow. And they kind of like, oh, well, this is easy. I can do this. They set up their system. As they join the programs in the downline builder, they're going to be joining under you. When they upgrade in any of those programs, you are going to earn that commission. And what did you do? You sent them to your capture page. That's all you've done. If they follow through, and a lot of people do, they'll, they'll sign up, they log in, they download the report, they go to the downline builder, they're just like, wow, this is really cool, this is simple. They reach out to us, they, they click on Telegram, and guess what? When they go to the downline builder, they're going to see your primary business, and they may join that as well. And if they don't join it today, as they get to know you, as they get to know our system, as they get to feel more confident in what we're teaching and they build a trust relationship with us, with the with administration here at CLB, with the team at CLB, they're going to want to follow you in everything you do. Do you guys agree? I hope you do. Three simple steps. Set up your funnel, advertise your funnel, follow up and follow through. Does anybody think this is hard? This isn't rocket science. I'm not teaching something that no one else has ever taught before. I'm really not. I'm just taking all the stuff out that isn't necessary. So that all you need to focus on are the things that really matter so that you can start seeing results right away without being overwhelmed. Let's face it, it can be insane. I know it can. I've been doing this for going on 21 years and nothing has changed. People are overwhelmed. They, and it, actually, it's worse today. You come online, you go on Facebook, and you're inundated with ads. You, you just click on your browser, and you're inundated with ads. Everywhere you go, you're inundated with ads. Our job here is to help you learn how to avoid all that and just do the things you need to do. And what do you do at the rest of the time? 
well, go have some fun, number one. All right. It's important to have fun in your business. It's important to have fun doing this. Number two, spend some of that free time learning some other skills. But don't try to do it all at once because that's just a recipe for disaster. Okay. So once you become a member, you're going to log into the back office of CLB Learning. This is what the back office looks like. And so the very first thing that you are asked to do is join the Telegram group. If you are not a member of Telegram, when you click that link, it's going to encourage you to sign up for Telegram. It's free. It's just like Skype. So you can either uh, download, let me bring up my, my phone. You can either download Telegram. It's an app. All right. So there's, I have the app on my phone. Telegram. And so I've got, there's the CLB learning group right there. So I can connect right on my phone. I've also got it on my computer. So the app works on your computer as well, just like Skype. All right. The only thing it doesn't do is, is video calls. I assume that may change in the future. It's a nice, simple app. And really the whole purpose of using it is so that we can come together as a community so that the team can help your new members to focus and follow through on the next step, the three-step guide. When they download the three-step guide, if you are an upgraded member of Contactless Builder CLB Learning, that guide is going to be populated with your links until they upload and the download builder for themselves. All right, so they're encouraged to download the three-step guide where they're gonna be taught how to set up their capture page using the conversion pros. They're taught how to advertise their capture page. We, we show them how to set up the traffic lease income uh, co-op. We show them how to set up Udemy. We show them how to use viral mailer. So it's all in the guide. We even show them how to follow up. We show them some simple strategies for, to use on Facebook and other social networks. It's complete. Then we have a link that says to consider upgrading today so that you can um, have that guide branded to you along with some of the other bonuses that come with upgrading in CLB. We encourage them to visit our Facebook page and like our Facebook page. We have a contactless builder page. We also have a contactless builder group that we encourage them to come and join. And then there is a link to our training replays and we ask them to subscribe to our list, which they may not already know or they are already subscribed to our list when they become a member. But, you know, sometimes they unsubscribe. That's a way for them to get subscribed again. So why upgrade in CLB? How many members here are upgraded members? I know when I look around, I'm pretty sure most of you are upgraded members at CLB. Uh, Lisa is brand new to CLB, so we're really excited that you're here today. And we're going to share with you some of the reasons that you want to upgrade. Number one, you get access to the CLB blogging platform, which we're going to be talking about today. And that is, I think, an incredible incredible option that we're offering to our members. Uh, the more that I look at it, the more I use it, I really start to understand how powerful it can be, especially with the with the additions that we've added to it and what we're going to be adding to it. The quick start guide is branded with your links. This is also a very powerful tool to be able to give away that, e that report. Uh, you can set up a funnel yourself to give away the report, you know, create a new funnel. In fact, I think moving in the future, I may just do do just that for our upgraded members so they can give away the report. You get our done for you system set up, which means that once you upgrade, I will set up your capture page and landing page for you. The only um, stipulation is that you need to be a member of the conversion pros. I'll set up your autoresponder, your capture page and your landing page and get that all going and tested for you. You'll get top upgrades at Genie Mailer and PG Co-op. You'll get bonus Oh, bonus credits. Sorry, guys. That's just my back is not a happy camper and I moved the wrong way. Uh, bonus credits at Genie Mailer and PG Co-op and you get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with yours. Truly. Sounds good, doesn't it? There are uh, several options for upgrading, making it very affordable. Oh, and that's the other thing I forgot to add that there, Rob. Thank you. Um, as an upgraded member, you can uh, email your downline in CLB, which is something I think is really important as well to be able to reach out to the people that you sponsor to CLB directly about CLB. So let's take a moment then. I just before we go on here, any questions on what CLB is and how it works? Can you see the simplicity? 
Well, this is what's been happening in a CLB since the 27th of February, which was our last webinar. So I usually do these recognitions every week. Uh, we have grown by more than 100 members since the beginning of the month, which is really exciting to me. Scott Gordon at the top of the list. Way to go, my friend. 15 new referrals. Arif with nine. Rob with eight. Carrie with six. Michael with four. Wayne with two. Mike with two. David with two. Motas with one. Alan with one and Lana with one. So awesome sauce. Really appreciate you guys. Congratulations to each and every one of you. And as we continue to grow and move forward, I think you see the power of what's happening here, right? So if you think about this, Scott has 15 new members in CLB. I imagine his list grew quite a bit by to create those 15 members, right? So you've got, you know, now he's got a, an autoresponder list of, of new leads that he can follow up with on a continuous basis about everything he's doing. All right, so that slide is out of place. I apologize. <laughs> but let's celebrate, yay, okay. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go into our training portion of our call now. We're gonna talk about the CLB blogging platform, uh, what it is, who has access, how to register, and your dashboard. How many of you here have the new blog? <clears throat> how many of you here have the new blog? I, Dawn does. I have, a, I have a blog. Carrie, you've got yours. Wayne, awesome. Well, hopefully today when we go through the blog, you're going to see some things you may not have even known that were there. We're going to talk about how to set things up, how to make it work for you. It is available only to our upgraded members in CLB. So the CLB blogging platform is a personal blog set up on our contact list builder site. So we have two websites at CLB. We have contact list builder, which used to be the original membership website. And then we had changes to the programming. And so we had to change. And so we created CLB learning and everything just went a little bit crazy. And so what we did is we made contact list builder the Contact List Builder blog, and CLB Learning is our members platform and members area. Does that make sense to everybody? I mean, to me, CLB Learning, that kind of made sense, <laughs> just the name of the program, right? And so the blog, the, the, we came up with this idea. We've, we, we had a, a blogging platform years ago, and uh, CW Net Blogs, I think it was called, and we've decided that this was just something that would really enhance your membership here at CLB and give you a way to get yourself out there, to start creating your personal brand, to start promoting CLB, to start promoting your primary business, to start promoting whatever it is you want to promote. So this is what the blog looks like, okay? So when we create a blog for you and we do do them manually, all right, it's not an automatic thing. You're going to fill out the form and either Don or I will, will create the blog when the, when the form comes in and you will get an email in the mail that, that tells you that your blog is ready and you can go and set up your password. Okay, so very simple process, but this is what your blog looks like. Now, this one says Coach Jada because that was my Coach Jada blog. Um, you'll see the links at the top there. There's home, who we are and what we do and get started with CLB. So here's the really cool thing about this, okay? The Get Started with CLB goes to your CLB affiliate link. Who thinks that's pretty cool? That is branded to you. So when they click on that link to go to CLB, boom, they're going to your CLB website. I think that's pretty incredible, don't you? Mm-hmm. Because you're now you're keeping everybody, you're keeping it all connected, yet you can... You've got full capability here. We've got your social posts so people can share your posts. They can share your pages. Um, it's a, just your typical blog. All right, it really is your typical blog. There is a welcome page. One thing I noticed today, Don, that we, I'm, I'm gonna show members how to change it. Uh, but when the blog comes up, because we're cloning a default blog, when it comes up, it has Don's name on the front page. So that's something you'll need to change unless we can change it to put your names in there. Um, I'll figure that out uh, and make sure. The other thing you didn't show me, Don, was how to change the link with their affiliate ID. So I have to make sure I do that as well. Uh, but just so you guys know, these are these are set up manually. And once it's set up, you have full control over the blog. Well, relatively full control. 
All right, we'll talk a bit more about that now. It is available only to upgraded members at CLB. And I think that is one of the hugest, we're getting there, Rob. When you log into CLB Learning on the left-hand side, you will see a page that says Upgraded Membership Bonuses. And on here, you will find information uh, for your bonuses and you'll see the form for the blogging platform. So we have a link there where you can see the default blog that is going to be set up for you. And then below there, there is a, a link to a new page where you can put in the password, CLB Learning, and fill out the form. Let's show you the form. It's a very simple form. It simply asks for your full name, first and last name, your email, and the username that you want. Now, the username is what's going to be, and I'm not sure if I've changed this page. This is pretty small. No, I don't have a link there. So the, the URL that your blog is going to be on is going to be contactlessbuilder.com forward slash whatever username you want to have there. Okay, so that's very important, and I need to make sure I make that clear on these on these instructions. When I set that up, okay. And if when the form comes in, if if I think your username, maybe you didn't understand it, don't worry, I'll I'll contact you. All right, it's easy to change. It's we're not overrun with setting these up at the at the current time, so it's all good. It's all good. Those emails come to me, Rob. Just so you know. <laughs> So we're going to go into desktop sharing today. We're going to talk about your blog dashboard. I'm going to talk about your profile. I'm going to talk about customizing your themes, adding your widgets, adding, um, creating a post and a welcome page, seeing what's already there, adjusting your settings, setting your, up your akismet, which is your anti-spam. So we're going to go through all that. I'm also going to talk about a little bit about Steemit and Steampress. So who here is familiar with Steampress? So the whole Steemit system has got, okay, I, I'm going to get somebody from there, maybe from CTP to come and talk about Steampress and why it's important. I think it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Very easy to set up and we have it included with our blog. So if you're a member of, of Steemit, we have the Steampress blog on the, the Steampress plugin on the blog. You just need to enter your uh, username and your private key and boom, it's done. Yeah, I'll get John Olson to come and do uh, training on Steam and how it works. And uh, yeah, I, I do too, Scott. I I can't say that I fully understand it. However, when I saw how this works, I don't need to understand it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All my blog posts go there and it, it, it just creates this funnel of activity. It's pretty incredible. And that's a great uh, suggestion, Rob. I'll get a hold of John Olson. So some of you are thinking, well, that's great to have a blog. Yeah, I'm not much of a writer. What am I supposed to write about? Well, this is a really simpler again than you guys are making it. You can talk about the strategies in the Quick Start Guide. Do a little summary of what is in the Quick Start Guide. And in fact, include a link to your Quick Start Guide. And talk about the benefits of upgrading if you're an upgraded member. Talk about what you're learning at CLB. What did you learn from the Quick Start Guide? What are you learning from our training calls? What are you learning from our groups? Talk about your primary business. And last but not least, curate content from other blogs. Now this is an incredible tool for you to be able to do. And I'm really excited because next week, Dawn is going to come and do some training on how to curate content from other people's content from other people's blogs, other people's content, maybe on Facebook or LinkedIn, wherever you might something find something of interest to you. Maybe it's an article that's relative to your primary business. Maybe it's an article that's relative to marketing that you can write about on your blog. Uh, but whatever it is, Dawn's going to show you how to take that content and curate it, which means you're going to write about it and include a include the information to it. There's ways to do it so that it makes it all up and on the up and up, but that's going to be a ton of fun. And yeah, I'm making coin over there. That's why I said it's just really, it's a no-brainer. I don't have to understand it to see how it works. Isn't that cool? This is just on my blog. All right, we're going to go into desktop sharing now. Again, guys, okay, I have my notes here and hopefully we go through this fairly smoothly. <laughs> We've got lots of time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's so much that you can do um, to curate content. And so Don will go through some of it very briefly next week so that you get a good concept of what it means to curate and the things that you need to do to make sure that the content you're putting on your blog 
is within the, the rules of doing that. All right, so I'm going to go into, and like I said, guys, you've got, you're going to have to bear with me while you don't, but I'm asking you to bear with me because this is all still very new to me. Don's going to give you a template to use because that's what Don does. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to log into CLB Learning as an upgraded member. You're going to come over here to Upgraded Membership Bonuses. You're going to scroll down, click here to register. You're going to put in the password. And you're going to go to the page and go in. And you're going to fill out the form. You know, so I, I would fill out the form. Uh, I don't think I've used this one. And I'm going to use, I need a new username. Nah, my, nah, yeah, my list. I don't know what I want to call it. My list builder. <laughs> All right, so then my blog would be contactlistbuilder.com forward slash my list builder. All right, I'm going to submit that. All right, and there goes my form. And then it brings me just back to the same page, which is fine. Your form has gone. It's in my inbox. And when I get it, I am going to come and create a pretty awesome. I thought I had my blog up here. I'm going to create you a pretty awesome blog that looks like this. And voila. But what I want to show you is once you once I create your blog or Dawn, all right, when either of us, you know, clone your blog, get it ready for you, you're going to need get an email that looks like this from WordPress that says from Contact List Builder, login details. All right, this is very important. When you get this email, you're going to click this link to set your password. All right, because the system has, is just using a system password, you won't have the login yet. You need to click this link, set your password, make sure you make note of it, and then you'll be able to log in with your email address and your or with your username and your password to access the dashboard of your blog. And so here we are. I've logged into my blog. This is my training blog. And you can, I can tell I'm logged in because here's all my information. Uh, and here's the blog. Now look how cool. List building with Janet Legere. So it's got my name here. Right, because when I set it up, I put your name there. Here, getting started with CLB. If I click on that, no, actually, I know Don fixed this. Look at that, opens in a new window and brings them to the CLB Learning website. If we come down here, we've got our widgets down the right hand side. This is your first blog post. So, right here, Don, this was where I was saying, Welcome, my name is Don Legere. So, right now, I'm going to show you how to change that. All right, but I'm hoping as we move forward, we'll have that all taken care of for you. So when your blog comes to you, it will be complete other than what you want to do. Um, the other thing is I noticed that um, it says the blog post was created February 27th. So I don't know if that can be updated as well. Just things to make note of. That's why we do these training calls. It makes it fun, right? All right, so there's here's what our blog looks like as it is, who we are and what we do. Now, this page is about Don and I. And CLB. All right, so here we go. It explains who we are and what we do. Get started with CLB Learning is going to go to your website. All right, so right now it's going to Dawn's because I haven't changed them. Uh, but when you when you get your blog, it will have your CLB links on it. All right, just so you know that. There's your archives and what have you. All right, so now we're in our dashboard. I'm going to come back here to my dashboard. And we're going to go through the technical stuff of your blog. Let me come in here, make sure there's no questions. We're all good. Uh, is there a way to access the blog on CLB without registering again? If you have your blog, yes, you just go to your, I'm going to type it in here. You go to your blog. There we go. WP login. Okay, so you would just put the username of your blog in there, Carolee, contactlistbuilder.com forward slash, in my case, training forward slash WP login, and that will bring the login page up. Alrighty, back to the dashboard. All right, so here we are. This is what your dashboard looks like. Don't let us scare you. 
All right, we're going to go through here and I'm going to show some of the things um, that you can do. So one of the things, these are your posts. So this is where your posts are. If we click on this, you'll see the default post that's here. Welcome to my contact list builder blog. Now I can trash that if I want. I can edit it. Maybe I want to change some of the words. It says the author is Dawn, which is, is fine. I'm going to come down here because I'm not Dawn. And so I can change that name. All right, and uh, go down here, and, and maybe I won't even put my last name. My name is Janet, anyways, and then I'll talk about me. And I can go down here, get started with CLB. When you get yours, this will have your link. Okay, but I want to edit the link. Uh, I don't want to unlink it. All right, I don't know this software very well. So Dawn will have to show me how I can change my, it won't let me change that link. So there must be somewhere where I can change that and Dawn will show me. <laughs> so here's where you can make changes that, you can update it. And that's that blog post. If you come over to here under posts, add new, this is where you're gonna do all your blogging. All right, so you're gonna come in here and you're gonna add a title, my primary business. And I am excited to introduce you to my primary business. It's not, that isn't, certainly isn't the blog that I would write. However, I'm just making a point here that I can come in here now. I could put a picture if I wanted. I could add a, a picture into this, my mouse. All right, so here I can add a picture. I can add a video um, into my blog post so that it has full capabilities just like your updated blogs it should look just like your wordpress blog if you already have a wordpress blog so i'm not um, i'm not going to save this blog post i could save it as a draft and i will it'll just sit in my posts all right i can create categories so if you come into your blog there are no categories so maybe i want to call it make a category called list building if i can spell list your slug is usually a one one word like put together or it has a hyphen but it's usually one parent category is going to be the same and i'm going to uh, list building strategies and we'll just leave it like that and we're going to add a new we'll add this category and there now we have a new category called list building and so now when i go to my posts all right, so let's let's say I go to my edit contact list builder. It isn't attached to any category, right? So here down categories, it had no category, uncategorized. So now I could take that off and give it a category of list building. In fact, I'll show you where you can actually make that your default. So then we come down here and we're going to come down. Media is where you can actually, right? This is a little secret I'm going to tell you guys. You could download, if you're an upgraded member, you could download the quick start guide to your desktop and then upload it to CLB, to your blog. And so you could, um, I could go in here and I could add new, select the file. There's my quick start guide. I'll find it. There it is. Right there, right? I can upload my quick start guide. Look at that. There it is. And now I have a link. See, there's the link to my guide. So I can close that. It doesn't have a picture. I could come to my post. and I could write a post about the quick start guide. You see how cool that is? Right? Quick start. And I could download the guide here <laughs> and I could hyperlink that you just see how I, how I click the hyperlink paste that link to my quick start guide and bing bada boom if I were to save that and preview it you're gonna love this okay check it out download the guide here now, if I click on this, if you said, if I were to send somebody here, like as a thank you page or whatever, they would click that link and download the guide. It would open the guide right there on their computer. How cool is that? I know you all think that's pretty cool. All right. So there's about posting pages. 
hope you guys aren't getting too confused. So these are the two pages that are here already, who we are, what we do, get started with CLB. So those are already set up. Uh, this is where I would, yeah. Don will show me this one. All right, so the, you don't really want to touch these two pages, but you can certainly add a new page that says about me, right? Or you might want to have a page that, about your primary business, or you might want to have a page about marketing tools and resources and list you know, the programs that you're using that maybe aren't in our downline builder and other programs that are, you are using. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're gonna just trash that one. I'm gonna come down here. Now comments, let's leave that. Uh, there is a default comment on your site, a WordPress commenter. This is just so that you can see how comments work. So you can actually delete this. So you can just trash that uh, or leave it, that's up to you. But when comments come in, when you post a blog post and someone comments, the comment will show here. Uh, we have it set up so that they have to, you have to approve the comments. And so they'll come here and you'll be able to approve those comments to show on your blog. Moving further down. I'm, I'm not going to get to the, uh, well, well, all right, we'll just go down the list here. So appearance, these are your themes. All right, so these are the themes that are available at the moment. If there is a theme that you're very partial to, please connect with us and, and we'll check if that theme is uh, can be used with the system. And if so, you know, we'd be happy to upload it for all members to use. But right now you have access to five different themes. This is the default theme that's up there, the 2016 but there are a few others here. And if you want, what's really cool is, I love this one. I can click on here and go live preview. I don't have to activate it. I'm not changing my site. I'm just having a look to see what it looks like. So, and here's what it looks like. Much different than the site that's up there, right? Okay, so what's cool about that is it gives you, whoops, gives you the ability to check out the different blogs and see how they look. Now I can look at this one in live preview. And when it comes up, if I want to activate it, I can. I can change this background and what have you. So I think that's pretty cool. And I can just close that and come back to, I can customize this theme. So this is something I do want to show you. And what customize means is there are things that you can change. So on this theme, and each theme is different on where you're going to edit things, but you see, they make it really easy. See all the little pencils? Click to edit this element. Click to edit this element. Click to edit this out, the menu. So if you want to edit the menu, you can click it there. You can edit these widgets and uh, where else? Wherever there's a, down here, you can edit the footer and everything. So if you wanted to change what this said, you just click edit and it brings the title up over here. I want to click that, it's down there. If I want to change my menu, Here's my menu, I could edit the menu. So you can see there are pages here. If I had a different page, I could add it to this menu. All right, most of this you're probably not gonna play with. I mean, if I want, I can also change the background image, right, the header image. So here's the header image right here. I could add a new image if I wanted to change this image. All right, so we're gonna get out of here. Um, the widgets I'm gonna access from the menu. So I'm going to come down here because I do want to talk to you about the widgets. Um, something I found this morning and I'm not sure why. I know Wayne we've had some issues with putting the form on the blog. I'm going to show you guys how to put a subscriber form on your blog from the conversion pros. But what I found this morning is I had to go into um, Internet Explorer or whatever it's called Windows Explorer to do it because when I did it in Chrome my form didn't work. So if your form doesn't work, just try a different browser, but we're going to show you how to add a form. So here are the widgets that are available to you. Okay. Here's where the sidebar is on this theme. Now remember, every theme is different. And so once you have your theme picked, that's where you're going to find your sidebars and, and where your content is. Okay. So if you've never blogged before, this is probably a little advanced. Uh, so this is where, if we were going to put a form on our blog, this is where we would put it. We would come down here and grab this text. I do find the text works better than the custom HTML. So I'm just grabbing that with my mouse and bringing it up here. And I want it to be right at the top, or right there. And I would call it learn more about CLB because I'm 
going to invite them to come to my CLB um, information to learn about CLB. <laughs> you guys are going to love this. This is so simple. So I just come over to the conversion pros. I click on external capture page under your TCP marketing suite. Now I already have a few of them set up. You can see here CLB blog. I just, I need this link because once they fill out the form, I want them to go to the same place they go if they fill out the capture page on my funnel, which is the CLB sign up page. All right. So I copied that page, add new, and I'm going to call this CL, oops, CL. The blog for class redirect URL and you can redirect them wherever you want if you want to direct them directly like to CLB learning to sign up wherever you want to direct them is fine success message says thank you for subscribing now pick the campaign where you want your contacts to go by CLB leads so whatever you called your campaign for the CLB funnel down here, you can pick the forms that go on your field. So I want their first name, their last name, and their phone number. I want their first name and last name required. The phone number I will leave optional. I do find it's much better if you leave that as optional. I'm going to save that. I'm going to say OK. And then here's what happens. And everybody's going to go, uh-oh, now what? So we're just going to go here to JavaScript because that's what we're going to use. I'm just going to click copy code. Now, I know when I do this, it's not going to work, right? <laughs> and I under text, make sure you click the text tab, right? So we got visual and we got text. See how they look different? So make sure you're on text, paste it in there, and click save. All right, we're going to see if it works. If not, I'll go over to. Um... No. All right, I want to see this. in a new window close that all right so let's see what happened it isn't working here okay but bear with me because i want to show you how cool it is to just add a form okay, there we go it's bringing me to my login it's a smart little browser all right so here we are again i want to go to my widgets which are under appearance widgets Oops, widgets. <laughs> Give me a widget. Here's my text widget. So I'm going to spring that open again. I'm going to click text. I'm going to paste it again so it's new and save it. And I'm pretty sure if I come over here, if I come over here, it's going to give me a form. And there it is. Okay, learn more about CLB. We got first name, last name, email, phone, submit. And so if I put my information in here and click submit, bing bada boom, thank you for subscribing. So I can, you can put a message there and there we go. It takes me to the page where they can sign up and learn all about me. How cool is that? I think that's pretty darn cool. All right, so we're going to come back over here. That was what I wanted to cover here. Now the plugins. There aren't, the only plugin that's here is a Kismet. It should be activated on your blog. If not, you'll want to activate it and you'll want to set it up. Now the settings are here under plugins. They're also under the settings. See a Kismet anti-spam settings. So if we go to settings here, it's gonna tell you to do one of two things, either set up an account. So you would just click on this. It's gonna open a new browser and it's going to set up an account. It's absolutely free, all right? And if you already have an account, you come here and you click, I already have it. And, oh, hang on here. I'm in the wrong place. I would have to log in. So if I come back to here, manually enter your key. So once you've activated your account, just get, do a personal account, all right? Just get started with a personal account. You don't need to pay for this, all right? It is free. Uh, what are we doing? Now, for some reason, it's trying to change. It is free. I picked the wrong one. Oh, name your price. Sorry. Just to show you. All right. So I can change this to be zero. All right. So that could be a little confusing. Just make sure you just click it to say zero. Continue with your personal subscription and you, you'll, you will log in and it will give you a number. Okay. So I already have an account, so I don't want to do this. Uh, oh, please confirm.
All right. Here we go in there. So what happens once you get an account, you're going to get an API key. I already have one, so I'm just entering it there and I'm going to continue with my key. All right, so you're going to sign up and then you're going to get a key. So there's my key there. That would be the key that I would use. Okay. So that's important that you do that. What that does, what the Akismet app does is that it takes you, when people comment on your blog, it will mark them as spam. Because you get a lot of spam comments on blogs. There's a lot of bots out there. So it prevents all that spam stuff, okay? Pretty powerful um, little feature. Okay, so what else did I want to cover here under um, your profile? If you want to go to users, click on your profile. You could also add other users to your blog if you want to have your partner or someone else you're working with be able to work on your blog. You can go to users here and you can add a new user. So this is your would be your profile. It'll have your name here. If not, you want to make sure you add your name. The system doesn't add it automatically. Um, I do try to remember to do that when I set up your blog. To ask you what name you want to display, I prefer, I recommend you do your name, your email address if you want to put your website. If you want to put some biographical information, you can. Your picture that's going to show up on your blog everywhere under your bio and, and where you post and what have you is coming from Gravatar. Now, if you've never used Gravatar, it can you just click that link here, um, sign in with whatever email address you're using, and it will sh it will show up here. So whatever email address you register with your blog, you want to have set up with Gravatar with a picture. Okay, and Gravatar is free. Um, you can generate a new password here if you need to, and here. This is where it gets fun. Look at that. Steam Press options. So it's already here. There's nothing you need to install. You're just going to enter your Steam Press username if you have Steam Press and your private posting key. Now, these are things that you would have received when you signed up with Steamit. Okay. Um, there's some key default tags you can put in here. I do have a few here Steamit and CLB Learning. You can add tags here. You can have a maximum of five. And then you just leave the rest as is. So remember, so you're not going to see my posting key here because I've already entered it. Once you enter your private posting key and save it, this is what comes up. Posting key set, enter another one to change it. And we're going to update. And if you saw there at the bottom, connectivity to the Steam server. Okay, we are connected. How are we doing for time? We're doing good. All right, settings. We're going to go to the settings here because I want you guys just to understand what's back here. These are your general settings. It's got my administrative email address. If this has not been changed now, when the blog is set up, it has Don's email address because he's the administrator of the cloned blog. So you may need to change this, okay? If this is not your email address under general settings, put your email address here, save it, You'll get an email confirmation in your inbox. You just have to click that to confirm and it will change your admin email address, okay? You can change your date format and what have you. And so once you've changed your email address, just click save, check your email and confirm it and you'll be good. Now writing, these are just your generic. So here we are, default post category. When your new blog is created, there are no default categories. And so you can now change this because remember I set one up list building. And so I'll, I'm going to change it to be my default category. So whenever I post a blog post, if I forget to choose a category, it will put one there for me. Reading, this is, um, this is something I want to talk about. If you look at our blog, right, if, whoops, somewhere over here is the blog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when we look at the blog, um, it's bringing up the blog post. Right, it's bringing, see it's bringing up your latest posts. You can have it bring up a static page. So if I choose static page, now it's asking me for my home page and my posts page. So I hope you're listening. I could choose who we are, what we do as my home page, or get started with CLB. Those are the pages I have. What I would need to do if I'm gonna do a static page, I would need to create a blank page that's called posts. So just let me show you. I would come over here to pages, add new, posts, 
I don't have to do anything else, just publish it. And you have to click it twice because it comes up to confirm everything. And then we come back to our settings, our writing settings, and no, sorry, our reading settings. And now if I want to do a static page, I could choose who we are and what we do. And posts page would go to posts. Now I'm going to do this for now just so I can show you what happens. Okay. So now when I go to my main blog, right, it goes to who we are and what we do. And if I go to my recent posts now, I could change my menu and put the posts page up here, which is what I would have to do. If I just click on my post, you'll see that now the posts are coming up different. But if I click on home, it goes to the home page. Hopefully that didn't confuse you. I'm going to set this back to my latest posts because I want it to stay the way it was. Now, discussion is where your comments are. So um, you can make some changes here. I have it set so that uh, everyone has to be, all the comments need to be moderated, which means you have to approve them. Permalinks, these are set the way I like them. Uh, if you want your permalinks different, you can change it here right now. When you post a blog post or post a page, the link is going to be the page name. So it's gonna say, contactlessbuilder.com forward slash your username, and then the name of the post, All right? Hopefully that makes sense. Again, if you haven't set up your Kismet, you have the opportunity to set it up here. And our Steam Press, if you haven't set it up, is under settings. You can also set it up here, okay? Mine is already set up. Uh, and if you need to, you can sign up with Steam Press right there. So come back to the dashboard show you guys this beautiful blog back to it's the way it should be there it is now we've got our form on there and bing bada boom that is the clb blog i'm going to come back to the room i'm out of sharing for a minute just so it's not annoying all righty uh, is it important to have a home page or can we just leave it as is? Leave it at, you can leave it as is, Carolee, because if you notice that on the menu at the top, that's where those pages are. And you can change those. Now you can change, remember I showed you where the menu was on your, um, the, um, what was it called? <laughs> when you're changing your theme, when you're going, doing over the theme, um, you can change all that information and that's where you can edit your menu. And so on your menu, when you create a new page, you need to go and add it to your menu. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. Great question, by the way. So I know that was an awful lot to cover, an awful lot to cover, more than I thought it would be. Now, hopefully it made sense to you guys. And uh, oh, I want to come back here. Are there any questions? Any questions about that, about the blog? You all know where to get it. Just log into your back office and uh, fill out that form and we'll get that set up for you. If you had a blog on the original system when it was your username dot the contact list builder, you need to let us know. And uh, Most of them are already set up and you should have received an e email on how to set that up. It was a lot to cover, Lisa. <laughs> But hopefully when you watch the replay, you know, it'll it'll make sense again as you go into your blog and look at it and go, okay, that's where I do that. All right, so those are just a few things to do on your blog to get it set up. I'm really excited about moving forward with the blogging platform and helping you guys. You know, I'll be putting content on our blogs as well. You can take content from those blogs. And we're going to show you all about how to do that next week. Uh, Don will be here to do some training. He's awesome at this stuff and he knows all about curating content. So that should be a lot of fun. I'll only be here for part of the call next week as I have an appointment um before our call is done so i'm going to be leaving you in don's hands do you think that's okay do you think i can trust him i think i can right <laughs> well i really appreciate you guys being here i just i love each and every one of you and i love what we're doing here i i'm i'm very passionate about clb obviously it's been here for 17 years and going i don't intend to stop because this is what i love doing everybody asks me when i'm going to retire i'm like what's that <laughs> 
I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I feel like everything I do is right here. I just, it's not work to me. And my goal in life is to make it so it's not work to you either. So thank you for being here. Remember, you can always find us. Get us in our, our Telegram group, which you'll find in the back office of CLB. Remember, our Telegram group is only for CLB members. So don't invite your leads to our Telegram group, but certainly let them know that it is available and that we're there to help them. So we are available to you. Don't be shy. No question is silly. Uh, every question you have is something we want to help you with. Our goal is to help this, help make this simple for you. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you again for being here. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you an amazing day. Bye for now.